Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10 of Glory Hunter with Inter Milan. Today we take on Lazio in the Coppa Italia semi-final first leg. We have got two results to run through since we've last been together and a little bit of a tactical tweak. Let's have a look at it. And we start with a 1-0 win over Cagliari. Danny Olmo with a goal in the early minutes of the second half. We dominated possession. We dominated the shots at goal. Just not that many on target as I put Diaby as the number nine. We did a lot better at home to Palermo last time around though, although we did lose two players to injury. So DeMarco is out, Stankovic is out, which meant a young kid went in goal. Ascuna was in goal for the majority of of the second half. He did not face a test, thankfully, as Mudric, Olmo and Enric scored. Thankfully, he scored as well. Martinez led the line to begin with and then came off. Again, we dominated the possession, which has meant a change in the tactic again. Because it's all well and good keeping hold of the ball and passing it around, but we need to start scoring goals again. So we have gone back to the Gengen press. It's one that I'm more familiar with. All right, possession is nine-tenths of the law in football. But yeah, if you don't stick the ball in the back of the net, then you're going to have real problems. Fortunately, things are going okay. So we will skip ahead following this game to the Champions League draw. That takes place on Friday to find out who we're going to play. And then we move to the Serie A table, which is not looking great at the moment. So Milan have two games in hand. We are three points ahead of them at this point, following the defeat last time around against Napoli. So yeah, it's not in our hands anymore at this point in time. Obviously, they've got to win their two games in hand to get in front of us. But yeah, the title race is starting to get very, very interesting. We are hoping to secure a berth in the Coppa Italia final today. Though obviously, it's two legs the semi-final, much like the League Cup is at home. Let's see how we get on in the first leg against Lazio. So poor Karasini is off the treatment table and back in the starting lineup. I was hoping Stankovic was going to be able to play today and we could ease Karasini back in, but alas, we are not in that position. Wan Foy starts as well, as does Kim, Solet, Mendy, Fratizi, Barella, Diaby, Olmo, Emric, with Martinez leading the line. We're trying that combination again. Let's see what happens as Lazio start with Pavel in goal. Rosalev, Casale, Romagoli, Pellegrini, Rovella, Kameda, Alberto, Anderson, Zagarisi with Tati up front once more. And a certain Chiri and Mobley on the bench as well for Lazio. Right, Coppa Italia time. Can we make it through to the final? Can we take a big step towards it today? The second leg of this is weeks away. It's at the end of April. So I'm assuming the final is some point in May. Let's find out what happens today, though. Come on. Yeah, Karasini back in goal. Glad to have him back. Although Stankovic, as I mentioned in the previous episode, he did rather well. And I was delighted for him. That's why we didn't really go out and find another goalkeeper after letting Mendy go. But we are losing goalkeepers left, right and centre. The young kid has to come on. I fear... For the worst but we will see what happens he did all right against palermo these are a very different animal though lazio as they've got the ball inside our half and they have started the better as felipe anderson has got the ball and we find a ball into the center will the cross be blocked it will and it's into the side netting from tatty bit of encouragement early doors i think that's the order of the day as select wax it down the field but it is coming straight back at us rovella Chase him down. That's it. Romagoli. We are all back behind the ball. Trying to slow them down. Rovella. Chips over the top. Wanfoyth is there. Can he deal with that? Not really. He gets the ball across to Alberto. And he's over the bar. Go kick. And it's going to go short. Which means the press is going to begin. But he gets it out to Rosalev. And it soon ends. Barella's coming across, is he? Are we going to pinch the ball? We are with Barella. Great challenge in midfield. Danny Almo. Plays it back into Kim. On towards Barella. 
towards Martinez. Play it out wide. Looks for Mendy. Nice ball. Can he find a ball into the box? He can. Towards Danny Olmo. He gets a shot away. And it's over the bar by the goalkeeper. First shot in anger from our perspective. Danny Olmo will have the corner. And a chance from the set piece, perhaps. Let's see what happens as it goes towards the near post. But it is headed away by Rosalev. Emery will pick it up, though. Plays it in. Diaby. Will he get a shot away? He might well do. He does. He turns, but he hits the defender. There's plenty of goals on the pitch today. 12 apiece for Martinez and Diaby. Emmerich's chipped in with a few. He's not really impressed me so far. But can he get on the end of this? He can get on the end of this, and he puts it in the net. VAR will have a look at it, though. I think Emmerich's going to be fine. Stop celebrating. The flag has gone up. Don't embarrass yourself. I think we're going to be all right. Yep, yeah, goal given. 20 minutes gone. Just mentioning Emrick. So that's what I've got to do. I've got to mention him. Put him in my thoughts. And he gets on the end of one. He missed one last time around. He has not missed that today. To be fair, even I could have put that in. I might not have got there, but I could have put it in. Corner to Lazio. Zagarini. I've just learned. If you say it quickly, it doesn't sound like anything. Anderson's picked the ball up. Go to him. Good save from Karasini. Over the top of the bar. Oh, it's going to be another corner. Again, from the Bannon's name, I cannot pronounce. But he has sent the ball into the area. Are we going to win it? We are going to win it. Well claimed. Going down the middle for Martinez. Won the header in the air. Have Lazio. Finds Rosalev. Wide to Anderson. You've got to help out defensively, Enric, as well. It's probably not his game, but it's a game that I ask him to play. Ravella. Into Anderson, he gets the shot away, and it's just over the top. Felipe Anderson causing all sorts of problems. Tomeda with the free kick, chipping it in towards Ravella. Oh, only just why goalkeeper was coming. Don't know where he was going, but we have got to half time in front, and that's all we needed. See, we're dominating possession on Gengen Press. Don't know what all the fuss is about. Right, we are going to have a look at an opposition instruction, though. We're going to delve into this screen, we're going to tight mark. Felipe Anderson. And we're going to tackle him a bit more heavy. That's the thing to do with him, I think. Throw him. Juan Foyth with it. Into Diaby. On towards Fratizi. Barella. Have a shot, Nico. Might as well. Nope. <laughs> Plays it far too far in front of himself. But Fratizi will start again. Mendy. In towards Emmerich. Go low. He might get a shot away himself. He finds Lataro Martinez, who's saved by the goalkeeper. I thought he hit the post again. But the keeper comes to Lazio's rescue. Immobile's on. So Tati has gone off. As Mendy has a throw into Emric. On to Olmo. Can we grab a second one? Emric again. Get a shot away. He does. He scores his second goal of the afternoon. Oh, that'll do. There you go. That's better. Criticism sometimes sparks a fire underneath somebody. And I have been critical of him. He has missed a lot of chances this season. He is only young. I need to remember that. But he has fired in number two. Can we grab any more? We are going to have a look at a couple of changes with 20 odd minutes to play. So Danny Olmo is going to come off. Karimi is going to come on for him. We're going to take off Nico Barella. No, we're going to take off Bratizzi. And we're going to bring on Lucas Suic. We'll swap those two around because Lucas Suic likes it better. As does Barella, to be fair. But I don't like him playing at the bottom of that. And we're going to bring off Lataro Martinez. We're going to stick Moussa Diaby down the centre to bring on Matilo Mudric. Triple change with 20 to play. As Mendy has got the throw into Emric. On a hat trick is Emric. Can he get it? Lucas Suic, can he get one for us? Can Mudric? No. Saved by the goalkeeper again. Very much keeping his side in it at the moment. As Felipe Anderson has gone off. We haven't seen anything from him in the second half. So the half time change did do the trick. As Diaby has the corner. In towards that near post. Select rises and Lucky Umar. Might take Emric off with a few minutes to play. He'll be on a hat trick, as I mentioned. Let's see if he can grab it. Karimi. He's got a runner. He's got two runners. Karimi's going as well. He's still going. Go on, son. Karimi. Oh, and then he batters it against the defender. Picks somebody out. It's a good run, though. Did really well. As I say, he has improved, Karimi. Are we going to try it again with Select? He is lurking at that near post. He was very known for it at Villarreal. He hasn't got his head on that one, though. 
Diaby will pick it up. Keep in the box, although they're starting to spread. Diaby into Suic. He gets the shot away. It's free. What a goal from Lucas Suic. I nearly said it was four. I was getting ahead of myself. But Inter Milan have their third goal. Lucas Suic has a beauty to take a commanding lead in this first leg. We have turned it on in the second half. It's a good ball from Diaby into Suic, and he just turns on that. That's a beauty into the top corner. No keeper is saving that. Right, we've got a few minutes to left in the game. Let's take Emrick off, shall we? And we're going to bring on Jack Clark because Sergi is looking complacent. They're going to take off Mendy as well. Let's get Destiny on for a few minutes as well, just to give him a bit of game time. Free kick, Pellegrini with it. Very much damage limitation now for Lazio. I think 3-0, it might be over, but you never know. In cup football, anything can happen. As Garazuski comes forward, one Foyth with a good challenge onto Lukas Suic. Goes wide to Jack Clark. Coming through the center. Will he find Diaby? He will. Will he find number four? He will not. Keeper with a good save. Offside anyway. Alberto. Looking over the top. Going to deal with that, are we? No, he's got inside Wan Foyth. Still going towards goal. Shut him down, for goodness sake. That'll do. Just hits him on the back from Kim. Four minutes of added time. Job done. And Solette has got the ball. Into Varela. Onto Suic. He's given it away, but we are going to be fine. That is full time. Inter Milan 3, Lazio 0. Demolition job has to be said. Eight shots on target. That is much better conversion rate. So the Champions League round of 16 draw is about to take place in Neon. Mark Overmars is in charge. What could possibly go wrong? So there are the ties for the round of 16. Tottenham versus Man City. Benfica versus Manchester United, Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid, Liverpool versus Dortmund, Nice against us. That's a good draw for us. Newcastle versus Bayer Leverkusen, Milan versus Barcelona, and Arsenal versus Porto. And with all due respect to Nice, we're just going to see what happens with that one. So we'll take on Verona, we'll take on Nice, Udinese, Nice again, Atalanta before we potentially, and I'm going to say potentially because I've done it twice already, to say we're going to play Juventus. We are going to have a game with Juventus at the Allianz Stadium. It has to happen this time. It can't move again. Surely to goodness. If not, we'll come back for something else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.